Howdy y'all, this is Proverbs 18 and the HCSB for July 18th, 2023. One who isolates himself pursues selfish desires. He rebels against all sound judgment. A fool does not delight in understanding, but only wants to show off his opinions. When a wicked man comes, contempt also does, and along with dishonor, disgrace. The words of a man's mouth are deep waters, a flowing river, a fountain of wisdom. It is not good to show partiality to the guilty by perverting justice due to the innocent. A fool's lips lead to strife, and his mouth provokes a beating. A fool's mouth is his devastation, and his lips are a trap for his life. A gossip's words are like choice food that goes down to one's innermost being. The one who's truly lazy in his work is brother to a vandal. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are protected. A rich man's wealth is his fortified city. In his imagination, it's like a high wall. Before his downfall, a man's heart is proud, but humility comes before honor. The one who gives an answer before he listens, this is foolishness and disgrace for him. A man's spirit can endure sickness, but who can survive a broken spirit? The mind of the discerning acquires knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeks it. A gift opens doors for a man and brings him before the great. The first to state his case seems right until another comes and cross-examines him. Casting the lot ends quarrels and separates powerful opponents. An offended brother is harder to reach than a fortified city, and quarrels are like the bars of a fortress. From the fruit of his mouth, a man's stomach is satisfied. He's filled with the product of his lips. Life and death are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. A man who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. The poor man pleads, but the rich one answers roughly. A man with many friends may be harmed, but there's a friend who stays closer than a brother. Just uh, reading the footnotes here. A gift makes room. Mm. Had a rough day today. Let's just say a series of things, right? Managed to get up right before my alarm, lay back down like a fool, oversleep my alarm, get up, I wouldn't say I screwed up my coffee, but I was not thrilled with it. Get out the house. Forget something important. Get on the interstate going, not the wrong way, but to the wrong exit. Had to backtrack to get gas. That whole scenario cost me an hour. And then had to break in the middle of my day, come all the way back, get the thing that I was missing, and then promptly dropped my phone on the concrete and shattered it. Um, that's a non-exhaustive list of today. So it's been a little bit of a rough one. It is what it is. Oh, let's not forget, I never would get leg cramps or back cramps. And today I, would, I thought I wasn't going to be able to drive. I thought I was going to have to pull over. Because I was in such agony from toes to my, my middle back. It was unreal. I've never... I've never experienced that one before. I mean, I've been having back problems, but this was a new one. So, yeah, I made it though. Managed to walk it off, you know, as dudes do. The words of a man's mouth are deep waters, a flowing river, a fountain of wisdom. Watch I speak. They should be a fountain of wisdom. I'm not interested in the fools today. The one who's truly lazy in his work is brother to a vandal. Because mm, if you don't do the work in time, then it stacks up, it multiplies, you know, and it compounds. Things break down. The name, uh, the name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and protect it. 
Usually it's just the name of the Lord. I like that specifically here. It is the name of Yahweh as a strong tower. Throwback a couple of months ago, you know, throwing, um, singing this song for you guys. Before his downfall, a man's heart is proud, but humility comes before honor. I don't need honor. I just need things to stop blowing up on me all the time, right? Like the phone thing. Really? Just grab the kid or grab the phone. Grab the kid. The one who gives an answer before you listen to this is foolishness and a disgrace for him. Subtext, and it's really annoying to listen to, you know? If you're trying to have a conversation with somebody and they think they know what you're talking about or what you're going to say and they're answering for you, it's exhausting. A gift opens doors for a man and brings him before the great. Notice this is a gift, not a bribe. So we're not being told that we can't do this. In fact, there's another verse that says, um, you know, it's like wind with no rain or cloud with no rains when you promise things and don't deliver. I got a couple things here, man, like casting a lot ends cools and separates powerful opponents. Can you imagine if we finished a war like that? Okay, Russia and Ukraine, heads you get it, tails you get it. The fruit of the, from the fruit of him, of his mouth, the man's stomach is satisfied. He's filled with the product of his lips. Speak death, get death. You know, speak intolerance, get intolerance. Speak love, get love. But you have to do it with biblical understanding. The man who finds a wife finds a good thing. Amen. And obtains favor from the Lord. I agree to that. It sure is a test, though. Ooh, it's difficult. Another first. I brought the eight-year-old to learn some of the trade today, so that was neat. We got to hang out with him by himself and bring him to work even for a little while. And he got to appreciate what it's like to work out in the heat. The poor man pleads, but the rich one answers roughly. Do you know who I am? Do you know how much money I have? How dare you? When, what are you going to do if you're poor? You know, nothing. And they ask nicely. <laughs> so, a man with many friends may be calling, but there's a friend who sticks closer than a brother. What was this footnote? Friends must be friendly. A man with many friends must be friendly, but there's a friend who stays closer than a brother. Interesting. Interesting alternate reading. All right. Normally, I wouldn't shower before I record this video, but it's almost midnight. I still haven't even put the daily verse up, and um, I, I'm, I'm wiped out, let's be honest. I still got to take a bunch of Benadryl and jack up on that so I don't continue scratching myself to pieces. And I'm um, going to have a super long, hot day tomorrow. But hopefully, I can learn from my mistakes today, get back in the truck, do a better job tomorrow. Yeah. With that, I'll say go with God. Be blessed. Thanks for tuning in if you have. Sorry, I'm running a little dry tonight. We can live stream. You guys can watch me sleep. Say, no, what is this? Twitter space? Go with God. Be blessed.